Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Spiffing Brit, and today we're playing Company of Heroes 2. Oh my goodness, what a fantastic RTS strategy game, which is basically a perfect simulation of the realistic war crimes committed in World War II. It's great fun. You can roleplay as the Soviets and force your men to take not one step back for fear of getting shot by their own friends. Heck, you can even now play as the British and just spam mortars from a distance as you desecrate French towns, all in the name of recapturing those glorious French towns and cities for democracy. Not that there'll be much of a town left after we finish democratizing the place, but still. So what are we doing here today in Company of Heroes 2? Well, we're going to be playing a very, very fun game of Company of Heroes 2, where I'm going to be demonstrating to you, the lovely ladies and gentlemen at home, how to completely and utterly cheese this in one of the most spectacular fashions ever. You see, don't get me wrong, Company of Heroes 2 is a lovely game. It's absolutely absolutely fantastic. However, there are some pretty major exploits for it. And these exploits lead for some very, very funny situations. And that's exactly what we're going to be showing off today in the glorious campaign mode, which no one plays because apparently everyone plays multiplayer. And don't get me wrong, the multiplayer community for this game is absolutely wild. Look at this. They even have world championships that have like 21,000 views. That's wild. This game is crazy. And it's also very good fun. Now, it was released in 2013, so its graphics aren't exactly going to be on par and absolutely crazy with some of the modern RTS releases, but this game is still actually completely and utterly beautiful and you won't even really feel its age. If you've never played this game, go grab a copy. It's great fun. If you have played this game, give me a shout. You lovely people, pat yourselves on the back. Thanks for supporting this piece of wonderful war crime simulator technology. Oh, there's no other game quite like it. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into this video. Let's sit back, let's relax, let's grab our cup of Yorkshire tea as we prepare ourselves to unlock the true Mimi exploits of Company of Heroes 2. And hey, if you want to show your support for some absolutely glorious exploitations, then hey, feel free to give this video a like, you fantastic person. So what exploit do you think Spiff's going to do today? Do you think A. Spiff's going to make it so that all of the units in the game are free and consequently spam them out? Do you think B. Spiff is going to unlock a hidden super overpowered unit which completely ravages the map? Do you think C. Spiff is going to find a way to completely decimate the Soviet army and consequently make it ridiculously overpowered with no balance whatsoever because Russia OP. Go down into the comments section to vote and trust me, you'll be pleasantly surprised with the outcome. Now, we're going to be playing on the Soviet campaign today, ladies and gentlemen. It's one of my favorite campaigns and for some reason, it's also perfectly balanced. You see, the Soviets have a few unique abilities which make them just a little bit more exciting than all of the other factions. Now, we're going to be playing in Stalingrad, a absolutely fantastic mission from the campaign where effectively, you just have to force some Germans out of Stalingrad. It's a bit of a challenging one and I'm going to be playing it on standard difficulty here today ladies and gentlemen because look I'm familiar with RTS games. Anyway let's start our mission in Stalingrad. Now Stalingrad is the most exciting mission I think because you generally have a mechanic called order 227 which means your troops can't take one step back provided this order is active which is great fun because it means if you want to pull some troops back to defend a position no nope, that's uh, that's retreating they're gonna get murdered. <laughs> so it's just advice advance, 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 and I love it. Now, the Soviet forces in World War II were exceedingly powerful. However, we're going to be demonstrating how they could be much, 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 much more powerful if they just simply used the glorious powers of Yorkshire Tea. You see, Yorkshire Tea fuels people. It gives them abilities some would consider unnatural and overpowered. And we're going to be giving these abilities to the Soviet army in the Battle of Stalingrad, making them just a smidge more powerful than they really should be. So let's press a key and start this game. No retreat. No. Oh, it's so good. I love this game. It is really good. So we're bam. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in Stalingrad, fighting for our glorious peoples. So basically, our mission is rather simple. We need to advance and push all of the German army out of Stalingrad. It shouldn't be too crazy, but there are a couple of unique things we can do to make ourselves slightly more overpowered. Now, what we're going to need is we're going to need one squad of Maxim heavy machine guns and a fresh squad of con scripts. Those are all the supplies you need to take over the entire world. Now, the MG squad which we have is, it's good. It's very useful. However, it only has one downside. It only has one actual machine gun, which is great because look, we can use it here to suppress these enemy forces, which is fantastic. However, it could be so much better, ladies and gentlemen. What if instead of just having one machine gun, we had, I don't know, let's say seven machine guns? And that's exactly what we're going to do. How do you do this procedure? Quite simple. Use the 
transfer orders on your machine gun squad and they'll drop their machine gun on the floor, but they'll stay in the mission. Then you're going to ask them to pick up the machine gun again. Two of them are going to go and pick up the machine gun. The remaining four can run off and do whatever you like, but the two on the machine gun, that's what's really important. Then use your transfer orders on the two with the machine gun, send them off to the side and get your fresh conscript squad to reinforce on the brand new machine gun group. Suddenly, for some reason, even though no machine gun has been picked up, five of your conscript boys have joined the machine gun squad, but now have, instead of rifles, this very strange cone in front of them. This is the very same cone of machine guns. This might make you think, hang on a second, do these boys have machine guns? No, look in their hands, they've got rifles. In fact, a couple of them don't even have guns, apparently. Yeah, look, they've just got bare hands. Excluding it turns out they don't, ladies and gentlemen. It turns out they really, really don't just have bare hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our boys up even further. And before we get properly into this, we're going to need to get as many crazy overpowered machine gun squads ready as possible. So for that, we're going to need another squad of conscripts. So what you're going to want is you're going to want your group of four machine gunners to pick up the machine gun once again, split now into two groups of two. Then your boys who have the machine gun, just the two of them, what you're going to do, once again, use transfer orders on them and then have your fresh conscript squad of six dudes reinforce onto them once more. And now once again, we end up with a squad of seven machine guns for some reason. Once again, you can just move them over to wherever you like. And once again, we can repeat this procedure again until we have yet another squad. So you get them to pick up the machine gun, you get them to drop the machine gun, you reinforce on the machine gun, and now you end up with seven machine guns. Oh, it's so very useful. Oh, so very useful. So what do we do with all of our very, very high quality, massive machine gun squads? I mean, we now have three squads of just a ridiculous quantity of machine guns. I mean, just look at all of the cones here that we're looking at. We don't actually need shock troopers anymore because they're not actually going to be useful. Instead, we're just going to want a bunch of machine guns. Now, what's unique about these machine guns is even though they're technically rifles, you're going to notice from the amount of bullets raining down over here, these aren't rifles. These are actually machine guns, ladies and gentlemen. Look how our men are just stood here doing nothing. They've just eviscerated an entire group of German squads and they can't actually be defeated. That's what makes these men oh so very powerful. These men cannot be defeated because they are effectively a group of 15 soldiers using their rifles as fully working machine guns. Consequently, this means they can just suppress any enemy squad immediately to become pinned and just look at them. Look how they just shred everything up. Oh no, we're getting attacked from the rear. Well, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because you can just eviscerate that immediately. These men do not mind if they're getting swamped on all sides because it turns out it doesn't actually matter. Heck, you can even load them up into a house and watch as the machine gun fire rains down from outside of the house. Oh no, a vehicle has turned up. Good thing we have all of these machine guns to level onto a vehicle. That's right, even though we're not doing much damage, because there's just so many machine guns, we are able to suppress vehicles into nothingness. Now, of course, enemy squads are trying to advance on our position. They're going to try and attack us, but don't worry, we have just a ridiculous quantity of machine guns, which we can use to flank around the sides. And of course, if our machine gun squads get damaged, don't worry, because you can just call in more fresh conscripts to plow into said infantry squads and immediately resupply them. Oh, look, they've sent infantry at us. Well, it's fine because we've got a ridiculous quantity of machine guns. Whilst they're not technically that accurate, there is a very large quantity of them. Oh, and we can, of course, turn all of our machine guns on the enemy machine gun and we bam that's another machine gun captured. Oh, no, they've got snipers up in that tower. Well, it's fine because we have a ridiculous quantity of machine guns to immediately defeat them. And there we go. The Germans have now retreated because we have snuck up from behind and captured the territory perfect. Now the good news is when you add more conscripts to the squad, they for some reason automatically pick up the machine guns and just run around barehanded, meaning these squads are effectively perfect and can never really die just because of how many there are. Oh, and we've been given some katushkas to mess around with, which is perfect. Now when it comes to enemy anti-tanks, sure you can use anti-tank infantry. I prefer just to use massive raining fire from the glorious katushkas. I mean, they're just fantastic. Now luckily we've managed to defeat the enemy tank and captured this glorious position here. Now it's going to be very useful because now we can effectively divert all of our attention over towards capturing this position over here. And so we're going to send our glorious machine gun spam round to take out all of the enemy positions whilst hailing glorious fire from above. Oh, there we go. Look at them. Some of them are trying to even retreat. Luckily, for some reason, our machine guns are very quick. Oh no, they're hiding in that building. Well, it's a good thing for some reason machine guns perfectly beat buildings. Ah, oh, fantastic. You think your glorious Panzer Shrek is going to stop us? You think wrong. And there we go. We've managed to secure that. Now we've been told to uh, secure the Northern Bridge because, you know, there's a very large quantity of uh, German forces there, which is stopping our allies 
allies from being able to reinforce us. So we're going to have to help out our allies. But, you know, I think it might take a little bit more than just conscript infantry for that. So we're also going to summon up ourselves a anti-tank infantry squad. I know, you can probably see where this is going already. Now, I decided to sacrifice my squad of glorious engineers because I needed to prove a point effectively. I need to actually clear up a couple of groups of men so that I could start my next glorious glitch. And of course, the next exploit requires more mobile penal battalion conscripts. So what you're going to want to do is find your glorious anti-tank gun squad here, get them to transfer out of their gun, then get them to re-equip the gun and they'll send two of their men over to do that. And then we have a squad of four. We're then going to have our glorious anti-tank crew decide to drop the gun that they're holding and then have the conscripts reinforce on top of them. What's going to happen now here is our conscripts, instead of having machine guns in their bare hands, now actually operate as portable anti-tank guns. I know, yeah. This is the same equivalent anti-tank output as technically five squads of anti-tank rolled up into just one group of conscripts. It's so cheap, it's so powerful, and it's just so memey. I love it. Bam, I've jumped into the midpoint of the video when you were least expecting me. I'm here to remind you to drink your cup of tea. Literally, go pause the video. Go pause it. Go refill your cup of tea. Drink that Yorkshire tea because scientists have said drinking Yorkshire tea can increase your intelligence and charisma stats by up to 15%. However, you want to know what can take it even further? That's right. Drinking it out of this mug here. Oh, it's glorious merch segue. You bet you didn't see that coming. For a limited time only, we even have a discount. I know, it's fantastic. This mug, if you drink out of it, it said it will bring you not only eternal life, but also rippling quantities of charisma and glorious majesticness. Trust me, you deserve this perfect beverage out of this perfect beverage utensil. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to also offer you a one-off opportunity. Do you want to be conscripted and die for the motherland in glorious HMG combat? If the answer is no, then good job, you actually value your existence. But if the answer is yes, then sign up today by simply liking the video. Warning, liking the video will instantly result in a Soviet man coming to your door, smashing it down and recruiting you to man a HMG gun. The HMG gun also has no physical presence, but trust me, it's there because it puts out a ridiculous amount of damage. Good luck and try not to be killed. But if you are, fear not, for another one of your brothers will take your place immediately. Anyway, back to the glorious video. Now, what we're going to do with our machine gun squad is we're going to defeat the enemy machine gun squad. Normally on paper, this shouldn't be possible, but we have the advantage as we have, well, about five times the amount of machine gun that they do, which makes us statistically just much more powerful. Oh, and we can take out the enemy anti-tank gun. We can take out the enemy machine gun over there. Oh, fantastic. We've captured that sector almost immediately. That was so ridiculously easy. Well done, everyone. And very generously, they've sent me a bunch of reinforcements to help out. A couple of guards, rifle infantry, very nice. And of course, a fantastic anti-infantry and anti-air gun. Oh, lovely stuff. Now with our glorious squads, we're going to take this objective over here, which shouldn't be too crazy because, you know, we have massive numbers on our side and all of that glorious stuff, as well as now a bunch of reinforcements from the east. So let's just charge all our way over and clear out this glorious place. So, anti-tank guns use anti-tank capabilities as if they were rifles. <laughs> now, I accidentally marched my squads into the middle of armed combat uh, far too close, honestly, if I'm honest. But, you know, mistakes happen and we have to learn to live with them. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our machine guns to deal with these squads on our flanks. And this is going to allow us to push up a bit using our anti-tank guns, as these anti-tank guns are going to be necessary to take out this bunker right here. Now, luckily, because we effectively have five anti-tank guns right here, we can shred through this bunker very quickly indeed. Glorious stuff indeed. Let's bring in a reinforcing penal battalion. Our glorious anti-tank squadron, we're able to just immediately resupply it, make sure it's ready to go. There we go, seven anti-tank guns in that bad boy now. now. When we take this territory, I'm kind of expecting a German counterattack of sorts, so we need to be ready for that. And we're going to be by having a bunch of anti-tank guns set up, just looking this general direction as well as a bunch of machine gun squads doing exactly the same. Splendid. Now there is once again a heavy machine gun emplacement over there. Consequently, we're going to need our glorious anti-tank gun squad to come over here and assist us. And once again, our glorious anti-tank groups are able to just decimate an entire machine gun position. Very nice. Oh no, they're attacking my Katusha. Well, luckily we have a bunch of anti-tank guns right here, so uh, we can stop that relatively easily. They've got an entrenched uh, machine gun nest over there. Luckily, however, it's anti-tank gun time. Oh my. Anti-tank guns. They're so powerful when used against entrenched positions. Oh, great. So now the Germans are going to attack. Uh, there's going to be a massive German counter-attack, which we need to be ready for. So we've got our machine gun set up here. It's time to make a couple of very powerful machine gun squads. So you drop your machine gun. 
you pick up your machine gun, you fall run over there. You once again drop your machine gun again, please. And now we need you to merge. All right, there we go. Squad of machine guns, I need you now up on the front line because uh, we need it. All right, we're going to send our HMG squads up. They, they need as much support as they can get, really. My goodness. It's a good thing we have all of our machine gun squads here to help out. Oh, look, the Germans are retreating. Oh, and now they're attacking from the other side. But it's a good thing we have our machine gun set up over here. So this will be a glorious success. Yep, this is just a guaranteed easy victory over here on this flank. Luckily, we already sank a lot of time into making sure this one was perfect. We've got a tank to deal with all the tanks. We've got uh, the machine guns to just mop up all the infantry. What we could do with is a great big squad of anti-tank, but, you know, that might be a challenge. Let's see if we can make a small one. All right, and then you drop, and then I want you to merge into here. And there we go. Now we have two anti-tank guns. Not the best, but, you know, it's double what you'd normally have. Well, honestly, it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel over here. We've uh, managed to completely smash the German forces. Uh, they can't attack because as soon as they do, seven machine guns held by men who are just glitching out in their animations just uh, open fire and immediately shred them, you know, in true Soviet fashion. Oh, look, they're trying another attack over here, but once again, there's genuinely 10 fully active machine guns over here, which is more machine guns than the game would actually let you put down in this entire mission. The game would go, hang on a second, there's, you don't need this many machine guns. No, 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 no. There's no need for this quantity of dudes. Look at them as they level up and become more powerful. But yes, our machine gun squad over here is now max level, meaning they can shred even better than ever before. Oh, it's so good. It's so perfect. 63 XP, the kill count 114. They've destroyed three vehicles using machine guns. I do not know how, but they are absolutely ridiculous. The squad over here, very minor. They've only killed eight. The squad over here has only killed five. Oh, incoming tanks. Oh no, they're sending in tanks against us. All right, and when we have a region where we don't actually have anti-tanks, what you do is you throw in a conscript squad and uh, just throw a satchel charge on the enemy tank and a job done. And let's quickly resupply that machine gun. Is there a tank over here? Oh, I think that was a tank, but uh, it died instantly. The six anti-tank guns here will generally mop up anything that exists. Oh no, another tank has arrived. Well, an anti-tank gun squads, chase it. I want it dead. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, watch the power of Soviet anti-tank combat. Fire, my men. Remember, technically they're just holding nothing in their hands. And it's gone. Fantastic stuff. Oh, there's a squad of mortars back there. Well, don't worry, we can deal with that by sending in the party half-track. Oh, splendid. We defeated the German counter-attack in glorious, successful fashion. We lost no squads whatsoever. We racked up a ridiculous quantity of kills. And now all we have to do to win the game is capture the enemy base. Now, what you can do is you can capture the enemy base, or alternatively, you can just rain absolutely crazy fire support from uh, from the glorious Katushkas. Because over here in this enemy base, there's a, an actual fully working panzer tanks, I know. More dangerous than a Stug, they're pretty brutal. However, you can counter them completely. Now, over here on the right, we've discovered a squad which is entirely equipped with glorious Panzerverse, meaning we can't advance our T-34. Luckily, however, we have a group of seven heavy machine guns over here with 148 kills on them who are going to just round this corner and throw a little bit of a surprise into the Panzerverse lifestyle. Equally, I know behind the Panzerverse, there's a infantry squad, but don't worry, we have the glorious heavy machine guns to help us out. All right, go machine guns, go! And the best thing is, if they get damaged, we can just summon up a conscript squad to reinforce them. All right, now attack. We have the half track. Honestly, we don't need tanks. I forget, we do have the anti-tank, so let's just send that in. All right, anti-tank, get ready to open fire on that half track, and fire, my men. <laughs> It's perfectly balanced. Trust me, look, they're pulling a they're pulling a anti-tank gun around, I promise you. I know it doesn't look like it, but seriously, it's it's there somewhere. Winky face, please. Oh, right, let's march up our infantry squads. There's gonna be a bunch of enemies around here, and I know it. They're just they're always gonna be hiding around here. We could really do with one anti-tank squad, so I'm actually going to bring one group of conscripts back. Oh dear, are we getting attacked? Oh, it would appear we are. Oh no, there's actually a bunch of enemies over here. Well, luckily we can just lob apparently a satchel charge right on top of this anti-tank vehicle uh, and that's going to make our lives a bit easier so eat that on there and uh, just run back from that vehicle sorry vehicle ah splendid glorious russian success i think we are actually going to just decimate the enemy base here we're very close by all right let's just bring in all of the dudes they're hiding behind barriers it matters little we've anti-tank guns for that you can't hide from the anti-tank guns all right machine gun squads also you need to advance oh my goodness they've got a tiger tank of some kind well don't worry anti-tank guns defeat it it's dead instantly 
Lovely. Splendid. All right, and into the base we go. There's a mortar squad in there somewhere that needs to die. Oh, wait. There's a bunch of things in here that need to actually get murdered. What we can do, we could just drop a satchel charge down on the enemy. Sure, let's do that. Run in, my friend. Oh, wait, we actually have anti-tank guns for this, don't we? All right, there we go. We've managed to get the Germans to retreat um, in glorious, successful fashion. That was surprisingly easy, ladies and gentlemen. That really was. It turns out you just want to defeat the enemies. Uh, get a bunch of fully working infantry, which 100% have anti-tank guns. Winky face, nudge, nudge. Oh, my goodness. And that there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you manage to make Company of Heroes 2 a fantastically perfectly balanced game. Once again, this works with all difficulties in Company of Heroes 2. It's absolutely fantastic and wacky. You're effectively able to destroy the unit cap mechanic of the game, which wants to limit and balance the game. And instead, you throw it into a perfectly balanced situation where you can just run around with massive squads of anti-infantry and anti-tank, meaning that there is absolutely no way to counter your machine gun spam. If you just put two machine gun squads with one squad of anti-tank, run them around the map, they cannot be defeated. If anything goes wrong, like say they start getting hit by mortars, then don't worry, you've just got more construct squads which you can throw in, heal them up, and send them straight back out again. It is as easy as that, and you can take over the entirety of Company of Heroes 2. This game is perfectly balanced. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. And hey, if you've gone about playing Company of Heroes 2 without being aware of this glorious exploit, then go onto the Soviet missions, go onto the campaign, have an absolutely fun time, because it's weird, it's wacky, it's fantastic, and trust me, you're going to love it. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've had an absolutely lovely time here today watching some glorious Company of Heroes 2. I had a really fun time recording it, but I mostly hope that you just absolutely enjoyed the journey and this glorious experience along the way. If you want to see more exploit videos, then give this video a like, hop down to the comment section, and do consider subscribing to join our glorious community, where we can provide you with the freshest, strangest, and memeiest exploits of all time. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my patrons who make these fantastic videos all the more possible. Thank you very much, you lovely sausages. And also, if you're wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now. It's absolutely fantastic and it's going to be perfect for you. Anyway, I've been the Spiff and Brit. I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and goodbye for now.